Hello, my name is Miguel and today I'm going to make for you cabbage coconut stew. Visit JamaicanCookings.com for the recipe. Alright, so you're going to need a cabbage, um, red cabbage, shredded red cabbage. You can use green cabbage instead or you can mix it. We're going to need a crown of broccoli, a stalk of scallion, an onion, medium sized onion, three between four garlic cloves, one tablespoon dried parsley you can use any of these herbs fresh chop it fine though one tablespoon of dried basil one teaspoon of marjoram one teaspoon of oregano all right we're gonna need old cloves quarter teaspoon of old clove quarter teaspoon of dried pimento berries you can use peppercorn instead or both teaspoon of grinded fine rosemary a tablespoon of wine vinegar you can use distilled white vinegar instead or apple cider four tablespoons of coconut oil or you can use olive oil a teaspoon of salt I use sea salt 50 gram pack of coconut powder we use in one cup of coconut milk a piece cut of scotch bonnet pepper or you can use quarter teaspoon of shredded red pepper and it's optional grind rosemary fine we use in one tablespoon I'm gathering all of my herbs in one place for cooking measure and put aside one tablespoon dried parsley one tablespoon dried basil this recipe will be in vegan dinners cookbook one teaspoon marjoram oregano one teaspoon oregano one teaspoon sea salt Alright, put your herbs aside for later. Put to heat a big enough saucepan. This is a medium sized saucepan. Put the stove's gauge on low, almost off low. I'm going to show you a way to maximize flavor from the berries without having the spices in the food. Four tablespoons. The spoon that I'm holding holds quarter cup. So about half of quarter cup is two tablespoons cooking oil. I use coconut oil. You can use olive oil instead. Measure and add quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries. It's optional. If you don't have it, you can use old clove or peppercorn. Add the spices to the eating oil. By keeping the flame on low, it reduces the risk of the berries bursting and hurting you. Next, measure and add a quarter teaspoon of old cloves. Or you can just take a few out and throw it in the, throw it in the eating oil. Note. The objective here is to flavor the oil with the spices. Put the stove gauge on low and let the berries flavor the oil for a while while we continue preparing our vegetables. So allow. Peel garlic cloves. Cut off ends. Trim spoilage. I like to cut the onion in half. It's easier to handle. Peel onion, remove just the brown leaf. The first layer is the strongest. Only remove it if it's spoiling. Cut off root end. Remove dying leaves from the scallion. Cut off the tip of the scallion that's dying. The recipe calls for two cups of shredded red cabbage. It looks purple but the name of it is red cabbage or maybe that, that color is red let's have the cabbage I'm using half of a small red cabbage now with the broccoli we're going to use several crowns at the end of the day you want about a cup of broccoli florets so do what I'm doing remove the leaves from the broccoli a few florets broccoli we're going to break it apart to smaller florets but we're going to wash it first Put 
putting of water in a bowl drizzle several drops of distilled white vinegar in the water we can use salt instead about a tablespoon or two of salt instead wash scallions leave clean give it a final rinse it's best if you do this part under fresh running water wash the garlic now soak the cabbage in the vinegar water remove dirt and any worm that might be in it wash it for a couple seconds then give it a final rinse wash the broccoli clean look between the stems for spoilage or any foreign object once you do that give your vegetable a final rinse next dice scallion fine you can use chive instead keep ingredients separate after that slice or dice onion when you slice the onion you will see the onion in the meal then if you diced it you won't even see it that much grind garlic to puree this is seasoning number two put that aside for later now with the cabbage cut the cabbage in half that way it's easier to remove the cabbage's heart that little white stump that you see me cutting cut that off and, bec and because this cabbage was cut like the day before the, the part that's cut is kind of brown so if you can trim that off before you shred it that would be best after that old cabbage and shred it alongside the grain meaning it should be it should have some little length when you when you shred it you don't want coleslaw you don't want it to be shredded fine so cut it in flakes little flakes as tall as your finger as fine as you can shred it at the end of the day this is how you want it you want them to be long and slim you want them to be long and slim you want them to be as long as your finger and slim or slim like a small stick keep cabbage separate from broccoli oh yes and you can use cauliflower instead of broccoli now break apart or cut apart small florets usually on the broccoli you have florets in between florets so you can cut big florets as little tiny florets the end of the day you want them to be small small like this and try and keep as much of the stem on it when you when you cut the florets see you see all those little florets just pop them off do what I'm doing and separate the little broccoli florets we're using about a cup of broccoli florets for this recipe all right while you're doing that to look for worm and the spoilage all right this is your idea we'll put these two aside for later After that, measure one cup water. The recipe calls for one cup of coconut milk, but you can use coconut milk powder. So measure a cup of water, add a 50 gram pack of coconut milk powder, 
makes it smooth. Smooth. This recipe will be in Vegan Dinners Cookbook. This is our berries. This is how low you want the flame. Almost off low. Some people call it simmering. So these berries been flavoring this oil for about 15 minutes. That's good enough. Turn the stove off. Now would be a good time to remove the berries from the flavored oil. Use our um, oil filter. All right, now turn the stove back on, put the stove's gauge on four, medium low. The oil should be hot enough and ready for cooking. Add the diced or sliced onion. Stir it in a few times, allow it to saute light golden brown on the edges. After 40 seconds between a minute, Add diced scallion. Remember now, you can use chive instead. Scallion is called green onions in some countries. All right, stir it in, allow to saute. After 40 seconds between a minute, add mashed garlic. Stir it in, allow it to saute. After two between three minutes in total, since we start adding the seasonings, this is what it looks like. That's what you want. You want it to saute, adding additional flavors, not in a bottle. After that, add your shredded red cabbage on top, the sauteed seasonings. Then immediately after that, add one cup of coconut milk on top of the cabbage. Next, add your herbs. The salt. And then stir cabbage into the coconut oil and the herbs thoroughly. that allow stove gauges on four medium low allow lid off no lid measure and add a tablespoon of wine vinegar after three minutes you can add the pepper keep the pepper on top watch it give your pot a few stirs flip the bottom to the top and watch the pepper and keep the pepper on top if you like spicy food you can always don't care about the pepper. The purpose of the pepper is just for flavoring. It's not going to be spicy. And once you do that, allow. After six minutes in total, since we added the coconut milk, remove the pepper. This is what it looks like. You stir your pot in. Now would be a good time to add your little broccoli florets. Turn the stove gauge up on six. Stir your pot in a few times. The objective here is to allow the coconut milk to get creamy. After two between three minutes since we turn the stove up, This is what it looks like. Stir your pot in a few times. The sauce. Once the sauce starts sticking to the pot's bottom, that's a sign to say it's thick enough. This sauce here is a very delicious sauce. You can finish right now if you want to, but I'm just going to thicken it some more. See, it starts sticking to the pot's bottom. It's been a full four between five minutes since we turned the stove up. 
see the sauce is kind of the water is evaporating from the coconut milk leave it just coconut milk or cream by the time all the water evaporates it's gonna go back to coconut cream so this is the idea that's what you want you want this cabbage coconut stew to be creamy you see you see how the sauce is sticking to the pot's bottom that's it finish full five minutes since you turn the stove up turn the stove off finish use the pan's lid cover it until serving before serving stir your stew in moist up your vegetables take a scoop of this delicious looking cabbage coconut stew lay it in a plate you can have this with um, pasta you can eat it you can eat it with brown rice regular rice crackers or roll this is cabbage coconut stew visit jamaicancookings.com for the recipe subscribe like and share you should try cooking this vegan dinner yourself give us feedback when you do this is cabbage coconut stew you can have this meal with pasta or you can eat it alone this meal is delicious it has a very unique flavor and it's flavorful surprisingly flavorful oh my god oh my god this is surprisingly great this cabbage coconut stew is juicy and flavorful it's juicy flavorful and delicious with this recipe you know you can use cauliflower instead you can use carrot instead coconut milk makes this cabbage coconut stew delicious and creamy the sauce in this cabbage coconut stew is flavorful you will enjoy it I'm enjoying this right now it blends nice with the herbs all right until next time bye